So here's the iMaths exercise on dividing fractions. We're going to do question one in this video, which has eight parts to it. So here is my pad. Uh, first question, two divided by a quarter. Well, a little trick to this is to rewrite two as two one-ths, two over one. So that's the same as two over one divided by a quarter. And then the trick when you're dividing by fractions is to change it to a multiplication and flip over or invert the second fraction. So I flipped a quarter over into four one So that becomes uh, two one times four one And then you just do top times top. Uh, two times four is eight. Bottom times bottom. 1 times 1 is 1, so we've got 8 ones, which is just 8 divided by 1, which is just 8. Next one, 7 divided by 1 ninth, so that's the same as 7 ones divided by 1 ninth. And then we flip over the ninth into 9 ones and change it to a multiply. Remember, you're always only flipping over the second one. People make the mistake of flipping them both over. And then 7 times 9 on the top is 63. 1 times 1 on the bottom is 1. So we've got 63 over 1, which is just 63. Next one is the same as 3 fifths times 6 ones. So 3 times 6 on the top is 18, 5 times 1 on the bottom is 5, so we've got 18 fifths, which is top heavy or improper or a vulgar fraction uh, to give it different names. Okay, so 5 goes into 18 3 times to give me 15, so I can get 3 fives out of 18, but then I've got 3 left over, because that only makes 15, and I've got 18, so that's the same as 3 and 5 fifths. Next one. 3 eighths divided by a quarter is the same as 3 eighths. Change it to times and flip it over. 3 eighths times 4 over 1. 3 times 4 is 12 on the top. 8 times 1 is 8 on the bottom. So that's the same as 12 eighths. 12 divided by 8. Uh, so I can get 1 8 out of 12 with 4 left over. So that's the same as 1 and 4 eighths. And 4 eighths I can reduce because they both have a common factor of 4. So I'm not dividing by 4 there, I'm, I'm dividing by 4 over 4, so I'm really just dividing by 1 to convert 4 eighths into a half. I'm not making 4 eighths smaller or bigger by um, changing it into a half, I'm just writing it in a different way. So on to the next block. 3 sevenths divided by 3 quarters is the same as 3 sevenths. Change it to times, flip over the second fraction. Now, at this point, I notice a 3 at the top and a 3 on the bottom. So I can see there's going to be some cancelling uh, later on. So 3 times 4 on the top is 12. 7 times 3 on the bottom is 21. And the 12 and the 21 can both be divided by 3. So that's actually the same as 4 sevenths. Now, now notice again that I didn't divide by 3 there. I divided by 3 thirds, which is just like dividing by 1. So I didn't make the number any bigger or smaller. I'm just writing in it, writing it in a different form. 
So you might have noticed that earlier on anyway, that the three on the top and the three on the bottom cancel to give you the, the four sevenths um, back there. So you, you could have done it that way earlier on, but I like to do them all the same way. So I'm kind of consistent in my method and I have a way of doing it that works for all problems. Okay, the next one, three sevenths divided by four sevenths is the same as three sevenths times seven over four. So again, I, I spot the seven in the top and the bottom here. So I can see the whole thing is gonna to cancel to three over four, but I'm just gonna to continue to do this my long way so that I'm doing it the same way for all of them. Top times top, three times seven is 21. Bottom times bottom, seven times four is 28. And then 21 and 28 have a common factor of seven. So I can divide top and bo bottom by seven to get three over four, as I just said. So the whole thing is three over four. Um, again, I didn't divide by seven there. I divided by seven over seven, which is one. Okay, next one. Six sevenths divided by three eighths is the same as six sevenths times, flip it over, eight thirds. So that's the same as six times eight on the top is 48. Seven times three on the bottom is 21. So it's 48 twenty ones. And I ask myself the question, how many 21s can I get out of 48? Well, the answer is two 21s would give me 42 but then with 48 there I've got six left over so it's two and six over 21. I notice here that the numerator and the denominator both have a common factor of three so I divide top and bottom by three um, which is like dividing by one I'm dividing by three over three to reduce that to two and two sevenths. Okay, the last one, seven eighths divided by five eighths is the same as seven eighths times eight fifths, Ch change it to times, flip the second one over. So again, I can see the eights are gonna cancel here, but I'll, I'll do it the long way. Um, so that's the same as 7 times 8 on the top is 56. I nearly wrote 58 there. And 8 times 5 on the bottom is 40. So that's 56 fortieths. How many 40s can I get over 50 out of 56? The answer is 1 with 16 left over. So that's the same as 1 and 16 fortieths. And then as I mentioned before, there's a common factor of eight there. So I can reduce the fraction by dividing it by eight over eight, which is just like dividing it by one. So that's the same as one and two fifths. So here is my IMath screen and by the magic of editing, I'm just gonna fill all of those in directly. So there it is all filled in, just need to mark it. Satisfying.